This video is sponsored by Revolution Character Creator, the world's number one leading character creator tool that can give you access to creating stylized and realistic 3D models ready for animation at any time. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. This is our weekly CG News Smash and this week we have a couple of interesting news updates and releases that you probably don't want to miss. Alongside with all of these, there's a couple of sanctions and for sure, there are tools that you probably want to test out at the end of this video. And with that said, let's get right into it. World Creator is a real-time design program that offers artists a set of tools to create awesome landscapes. The version 3 has been released and this new version was built from the ground up to eliminate all reliance on Unity 3D which was the platform of choice that it was previously built on. In comparison with the previous version of World Creator, this new version has been optimized with a well-enhanced workflow as well as some more tools and capabilities. Regardless of this, not all the tools and features that existed with version 2 has been properly migrated to version 3. And of course, the previous version, which is version 2, is still available for those who like to take advantage of some tools to get their job done, as you can simply go ahead and download this. With that said, a new website has been launched to go alongside with the brand new software which now offers downloadable PBR materials and a couple of samples. A new seat and license management system is also available through the new portal allowing you to move users, acquire additional seats and do way more things than you could do with the previous website. Spline Beta is here and it's already looking impressive. Few months ago we announced that Spline was getting better and better and this was a joy to work with at the time. Now this is even more fabulous to work with and the folks at Spline has now fixed a huge set of bugs and also improved functionality. With a new set of features which simply range from modeling tools over to texturing, file management, project sharing among teams, auto saving and also real time collaboration. So if you're a designer looking for an easy to use web 3D tool for making motion graphics style design for your project or probably you would like to test this then you should consider checking out Spline Beta as this is currently available for free for those who like to test it. Blender 3.1 is now available and this is the most recent installment from the folks at Blender Foundation. Blender 3.1 comes with a huge set of performance improvements, updates and also a couple of new features. These features range from cycles over to geometry node down to things you can do with grease pencil and with 3.1 shipping with way more nodes is also worth knowing that at this point calculation and also multi-threading is now supported with the geometry node. Some other cool things that is now available is GP acceleration for subdivision modifier. There is also a huge set of improvements in terms of things that you can render. So for those who are thinking about using point clouds and rendering point clouds in their scenes by simply using cycles or probably you own a Mac and you like to take advantage of the Metal GPU backend that has now been integrated into 3.1 all of these things are here for the taking. Alongside with this is also some updates to animation. There's also a couple more updates to performance, file importing and also the kind of things that is now feasible with Blender. And with 3.1 it simply means that folks at Blender Foundation are working harder and harder to bring Blender closer to artists as open source tool of choice for everyone. The folks at Revolution has unveiled a more recent tease of the next major edition of Revolution's real-time character animation program, iClone 8. For the previous tease, we got to see the Motion Director, a new system for animating characters semi-automatically by simply using a game style set of controls, a new human IK-based control rig, a pose mixer, an animation layer editor, an integrated curve editor, and additional capabilities for blending and looping motion clips, more like what you can get with Motion Builder. Now with this brand new release, there's a new feature that was seen that would probably come over to iClone 8. And this is the collection system. The collection system is going to be available and it has been heavily updated within the iClone scene manager. So the functionality simply allows users to organize items into groups and toggle these things on and off in case of appearances. And at the same time, it is meant to improve interactive performance while dealing with huge environment scene as it will cut down on how much load the computer actually processes at a given time. And yes, this extra tease is building up to the anticipation of the release of iClone 8. Lumion, one of the world's leading architectural visualization and rendering tool from the folks at Act 3 d has now been updated. The version 12.3 ships with a medium set of features which can be considered as aesthetic. The new update offers pro users the unique function of importing custom decals as well as accessibility to volumetric light effect when using the Omni light and the spotlight. Generally, with this new update, users can be able to import custom plate license images and attach them to the brand new custom plate system that now exists with Lumion as well as having access to 110 new animated plants 
that they can find within the asset collection. After the purchase of Forger last year, Magzone made Forger its digital sculpting app for iPad available to download for free. The free version did come with a couple of limitations for users as it only allowed users to have access to three active files and there was a lack of direct data share with Cinema 4D. But if you discount these two features, you have yourself an amazing mobile sculpting app that you can use. The new update now ships with a couple of fixes alongside additional language support for Chinese, French, Germans, Italians, Japanese, Polish, Russian, Spanish, and obviously English. And for those who like to get the interoperability with Cinema 4D, you may need to purchase a Magzone One subscription. Gear is a powerful standalone procedural terrain generator that now features a host of landscape modeling and texturing tools, as well as improvements to how creators get to create, direct, edit, and also sculpt their landscape. It makes sense to note that version 1.3 now ships with a couple of improvements that would allow users to control the terrain forms and work with a Photoshop style layer that will help them directly sculpt on their models. There is a brand new sunlight node that can be used to manipulate the landscape and this can be used to regulate snow melting and also plant growth. Amongst other things that you'll be able to get with gear right now is improvement to stability and performance and this comes with a 30% faster performance compared to what you get with gear 1.2. There's a set of other new features that includes a brand new river nodes, some rock nodes, some canyon nodes, seamless nodes and so on and so forth. Amongst all, there is a huge set of features that now ships with gear 1.3 and of course if you're thinking about creating terrains, you might want to consider checking this one out. In other news, there's a couple of 3D companies and also game companies that have suspended sales and business in Russia owing to the present situation. So Sony has announced that they will no longer be doing business in Russia as Sony Interactive Entertainment has chosen to halt hardware shipments and software launches in Russia. This is coming alongside with the folks at Autodesk as they've also posted a response to the current events happening in Ukraine announcing that it will be suspending doing business in Russia immediately. Other software companies and game companies has either restricted or totally suspended doing business in Russia right now and they include Ubisoft, Rockstar Games, Activision, Blizzard, Epic Games, CG Project Red and also Microsoft. The list just simply goes on and on and on and in a twist of events yesterday we did get an update from the folks at Blender. And with a statement from the folks at Blender, they've announced that they will be standing neutral as they would not be taking any political side. They are sad about what is going on right now but at the same time, Blender is an open source tool which bars the freedom for everyone to create. Standing on that, they are not looking at suspending, restricting or limiting the folks at Russia having access to Blender and this has sparked a couple of conversations. Some people are against this idea, why some people are for it. Some are saying that keeping silent is taking a political stand, why some are saying that Blender is supposed to be neutral as neutral can be. Either ways, the folks at Blender Foundation are saying that this is going to go against their principle if they choose a side and decide to restrict access to artists as Blender is created for everyone and has been created as an open source tool to artists around the world regardless of where you are. And that's about it. You're now caught up with all of the news that happened within the week. And before we go, let's give a huge shout out to Relution's Character Creator. Relution Character Creator is a full character creation solution for designers and also 3D artists. This tool allows you to easily create, import, and customize styled or realistic looking characters. The 3D Character tool offers options that can help you design unlimited variety of realistic and also stylized humans with all of them fully rigged and ready for 3D animation and games. And for those who like to try this out, you can get Relation Character Creator and play with it for 30 days with access to over a thousand ready-made content that is available within the asset store. Some of the incredible features you would get with Relation Character Creator that you probably not find anywhere else include the digital human shader, some morphing tools, the smart hair, and alongside with the skin and makeup set of adults. And of course, if you like to exchange data between different apps, Relation Character Creator offers a truckload of app support for interoperability. A huge shout out to the folks at Relution for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.